Hi and welcome back. I got March's empties ready to go. Um, I don't have a lot of makeup, but I went through a ton of like body and skincare stuff. Um, the first thing I'm pulling out is this Clean Apothecary Brush Shampoo. This was in this mint scent. I love this stuff. It costs $15 on Beautylish. Um, but this is like the best soap. You, there's like soap in here and then you get your brush wet and wiggle it around and it cleans the brushes. This is the best soap that I have used for my natural hair brushes. Love this stuff. I have like two or three of them at a time under my bathroom sink. Um, I adore this. I used up a Tree Hut uh, body butter. This is in the Hawaiian Kukui scent. I love these body butters. They are so moisturizing and my skin never feels dry with them. They do take a little while to like soak into the skin and like rub in because it's pretty thick, but man, I love this stuff. And I especially like whenever it's on sale at Ulta. I went through yet another thing of the Thayer's Witch Hazel oh, in the Rose Petal scent. I love this. Um, I did wind up buying the Cucumber one. I don't really know if I like it too much, like the smell of it, but I like which I like the Thayer's Witch Hazel. Um, Neutrogena's Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. I really need to try the Walmart brand one that Courtney always talks about because I know that one's cheaper, so maybe next time I'm at Walmart I'll pick it up, but the Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover is so good to me. Aveeno's Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I cut this thing open, that way I could get it all out. I have bought this in a two-pack at uh, Costco and I really liked this lotion. Urban Decay's All Night All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I I like it, but since I got the Ofra one from Octoly, I like the Ofra one better and you get like twice as much for half the price. Um, I probably won't repurchase the Urban Decay one just because it's so freaking expensive and I really really do like the Ofra one a lot better. Michael Todd's Honey Note Gentle Daily Cleanser. I had gotten this in my 4,000 Ulta Points haul like seven months ago. So if that tells you how long it took me to use this up. I like this one because it has um, a pump and one pump washes my face really well. It didn't irritate my skin. The smell was really nice. I really, really enjoyed this cleanser. I will consider repurchasing it once my um, Cora's... Greek yogurt cleanser is all gone. Um, I really love that this was in a pump though. It lasted really, really long time. I used up a Bath and Body Works little like free shower gel in the beautiful day scent. I like the smell of these, but their shower gel I'm realizing breaks me out. Um, so I, if I get free coupons, I'll get the body lotion, but I won't get the shower gels anymore. Oh well, live and learn. I used up this little size of the Verb Sea Spray. I like this more in the summer whenever my hair is just going kind of wild. It's just a sea salt spray. Um, it gives it a little bit of texture, but I like this one because it wasn't overly like sticky or crunchy and the smell was really nice. And that line is pretty cheap at Sephora. I used up, uh, what is this one? The One by Frederick Fakai. I don't remember what I got this in. I think I got it from Ulta at some point. I don't even know what it was for. I think for volume, I wasn't super impressed with it. I finally used up this Aquaphor Healing Ointment. Um, I had bought it to be a hand cream, but it's way too greasy as a hand cream. So I wound up using it on my feet at night. Um, I won't repurchase this one like ever again though. I used up a day cream from Ren. This came in a Sephora play box. I don't have a whole lot of thoughts on it. Facial Radiance Polish. This one is by First Aid Beauty. This one also came from Sephora Playbox. I did not like the granules on this. They were really kind of rough. And I think that they're like... I thought that they, they were walnut granules? I don't know. I don't really care for the First Aid Beauty line. Um, I'll use it if I get it, but it's not my favorite. Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. This stuff was really nice, but it's a lot more expensive than the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Um, I really enjoyed how this one smelled, but I like I dug every last bit of this out there. It was okay, but for the price I and how much you get, I don't think I'd purchase it. 
This Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist, I enjoyed. I use it underneath um, my primer just as like a sticky base similar to the Urban Decay Quick Fix. I liked it, but I probably would not purchase it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I used up a little thing of MAC Fix Plus. This stuff is freaking awesome. I love it. I have a big one going right now. Um, I think I might put the Ofra setting spray into this little jar because I really like the mister. Oh, can I, what did I do? Yeah, I can take it apart. I really like the mister on the Fix Plus. It's like the best mister in the entire world. Let's see if I can like just break this though. Um, so yeah, this stuff is great. I used up two mascara things. The first is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. This was a deluxe sample. I actually enjoy this mascara. I don't like it as much as the Monsieur Big by Lancome, um, but this one gave my lashes just like a really nice, just a pretty, pretty look. And then the Lancome Sills Booster XL. This is my favorite uh, mascara base or primer. I've gone through so many of these and it's a continual, continual for life repurchase. Urban Decay's Complexion Primer. This is just a deluxe sample. Um, I It was okay. I didn't think that it did very well filling my pores or anything. I didn't think it made a difference in how long my makeup lasted. So I would not buy the full size of that one. Youth to the People Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid. This is just a moisturizer, a really lightweight moisturizer. I wound up getting another sample of this on Sephora. The smell of this is divine. Um, it just has like a really nice clean scent to it. Oh, look, there's the thing. Um, I enjoyed this, and if I ever get through some of my other moisturizers, like day moisturizers, I would definitely pick this one up. I really, really enjoyed that, like a lot. I went through two MAC Cleanse Off Oils. Again, I don't like these as much as my Clinique Take the Day Off bomb stuff, but they were all right. I don't mind getting samples of them. Max Prep and Prime Skin Base. I have like five more of these to get through. They're all right. I think that those might break me out though, quite possibly. Versace's Bright Crystal. This is the only perfume sample I went through. I love the smell of this. I would love to have the full size, but it's expensive. Um, Different Gel. I want to go buy some of this. I think it costs $40 over the counter. Um, it's just a, a retinoid cream. I like it. I think it's retinoid, isn't it? Adapalene. I think it's for acne. I don't know, but I really like how this stuff makes my skin look. And then my favorite, all time favorite, clear top coat is HK Girl by Glisten and Glow. Bottles and bottles of this. I wound up buying the refill thing and I was like refilling this one But now I'm moved on to another bottle of this. So yeah My grand total for this month. I used up $141 of stuff. That's not including the sample sizes um, I'm too lazy to figure out how much samples cost, but I used up over a hundred dollars worth of Skincare and a few like makeup items, but yeah, I'm doing pretty good. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was a little bit helpful. If not, thank you. I hope that you don't feel like you wasted any time. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.